but it overtakes the whole sound system. This is a great, fantastic way of making sure that does not happen. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and in today's video we will be covering four very important settings or features dealing with the Bluetooth on your Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, and my goal is that at least one of these four is brand new to you that you've learned today here on the channel of Jimmy is Promo, and more than likely it's going to be the fourth one that I'll talk about in this video. Now, before we pop off and I show you all four different settings, I do want to let you know that there's a couple different ways of interacting with your quick settings on the very top. Now, first off, if you just tap on that little icon, it will turn it on and turn it off. It's just a fast little toggle. Now, if you're to tap on the word below the icon, then it's going to take you over into a quick setting. It's just a half screened, half setting type of a little page, a little screen to get into something extremely fast if that's all you need. And then the very last one is that if you were to press and hold either on the icon or the word, it'll take you into the full screen settings of whatever you're getting into. Now this will lead over into the very first feature that I am going to talk about with your Bluetooth settings. Now first off you can see I'm already connected to a life proof Bluetooth speaker. It's the AQ9 and on the very top right hand side when you see those three little dots we're going to first talk about media volume sync. So what exactly is media volume sync? So first off I'm going to bring over in my little uh, life proof speaker right over here. This thing's actually pretty nice. Um, I will be showing off two different Bluetooth speakers in this video. If you're interested in any of these two the links will be below the video, but out of the two, this one is my favorite. All right, so let me show you exactly what this does. What we're going to first do is have this thing turned off. I'm going to head over into just anything with music. So here's the Samsung music application. And then when I hit on play, as of right now, because the media volume sync is turned off, I am able to independently change the volume of both of these devices. Meaning, as of right now, if I was just to turn up the volume of the phone, I'm turning up the volume from the device itself, which is also in turn turning up the speaker, but they are independent of each other. When I am turning up the volume of the phone, but I can also turn up the volume of the speaker separately. Now, what's gonna happen is if I was to hit on pause, I'm gonna head right back over into the Bluetooth settings. I'm gonna head over and hit on the media volume sync. So now we will turn this thing on and what's gonna happen now is that there's only one volume to control. They are not independent of each other. Meaning if I was to head over here and I hit on the play button, what happened initially is the moment you turn this thing on, whatever Bluetooth speaker you're connected to, the volume is set maximum. So at any point in time, if I was to bring up the volume, you can see that it's turning up the volume of the phone as well. And it's really only turning up the volume of the phone because the speaker is already at 100%. So this is just a nice way to take full control of your audio instead of having to independently, separately try to turn this one up and then maybe turn this one up. Just have this thing turned on for the media volume sync. This one's already set to 100% and all you got to do is just to control your music, just do it with your phone. Or if you're away from your phone and you're next to your speaker, then you can turn it up this way as well. So now what I'm going to do is I will turn off the media volume sync because the very next setting or the very next feature will automatically turn this thing off. Now the very next one we'll be talking about is going to be dual Bluetooth audio. And when you turn on this setting right here, you are now able to connect two different Bluetooth speakers at the exact same time. Now don't think of it as only dual Bluetooth speakers, you can think of it as dual Bluetooth headphones. So if you're inside of an airplane and you've got your spouse or a friend right next to you and you also wanna to listen to what they are watching, usually you would have to have the old style little aux splitter. But now on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, you're able to have dual Bluetooth be connected. So even if you wanted to, you can either have a speaker and even a headset or two different Bluetooth headsets, two different Bluetooth speakers. Now, before I go over and I play these both for you at the exact same time, I do want to give a disclaimer right now. You want to have both of your dual Bluetooth speakers to be at the exact same Bluetooth rating, meaning you want this one to be Bluetooth 4.1 and this one to be Bluetooth 4.1 or maybe 4.0 and 4.0. Now, if they are separate or different, let's say this is 4.0 and this is 4.0, point one, then there will be a millisecond difference of the two different speakers playing at the same time. But if you have both of the speakers in a completely different room, you're probably not going to notice. And you definitely will not notice if you are using this with two different Bluetooth headsets because you're both watching it and you're independently in a headset. So the other one is not listening to what you're listening to. So from what you've seen from before, I'm already connected with the LifeProof AQ9. And as I said from before, this one is my favorite out of the two, but they're both a really good option. This is really nice if you want to hang this somewhere. Um, but this one also has a hanging feature as well too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this Anantuo. This is the Anantuo S7. Okay, now that they are both connected, I went on the very top and you can either have dual audio on instantly right away or you can have it off. Usually what I'd probably say is just have everything just paused 
hit on the little dual audio and turn it on. Then you can head over into your music, and then once you hit on play, now you're gonna have both of them playing at the exact same time. Now, if you feel that they are not going at the exact same time, you can always pause it and hit play again, and it kind of resets it. Now, another thing you can also do is if you feel that they are going off at a different time, because a few people have mentioned from one of my past videos, because you were able to do this with the S8 and the S8 Plus, is that when you go to your dual Bluetooth audio, have this thing turned off, have your music starting and playing automatically, so it's playing from one speaker right now, then what you do is now that it's already playing, head over into your dual Bluetooth audio on the very top right hand side, turn it on, and then now they're going to be playing at the exact same time. So if this is one of those that is brand new for you and you just learned it, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, you're going to see the big benefits of this one happening around your house if you're connecting multiple different speakers to it, even when they are coming from two different separate companies. And also the big deal here is the Bluetooth headsets. So you'll be able to be on a plane and watching the exact same movie or music as your spouse or friend sitting right next to you, which beforehand you were not able to do, even though I did show this off with the S8, S8 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So heading over into feature number three, I did turn off the dual Bluetooth audio, but I'm still going to be connected with my LifeProof AQ9 Bluetooth speaker right over here. And the very next feature is going to be something very important if you're always connected to a Bluetooth speaker listening to music. So as example, maybe you are sitting in your car, you are Bluetooth to your car stereo sound or system, listening to your music, and then something pops through with maybe you went on Facebook, either you're a passenger in the vehicle, and you look at Facebook and a video played, but now that video is now overplaying your car's audio sound. Maybe you open up Snapchat, maybe you opened up YouTube, and now all that sound is now coming from the Bluetooth source you're connected to. Maybe you're at work and <laughs> you're listening to music, but then some embarrassing video popped up on Snapchat that you forgot you're connected to Bluetooth. This right here is going to definitely save you. Now, so what you want to do is go on the very top right hand side, click on your settings. This is where you click on sounds and then you're going to go down to where it says the separate app sound. Now, this is where you're able to turn this thing on and select what application is playing from what audio source. So let's turn this thing on. Now we're going to select what we would like to have play. So let's say we do YouTube and for YouTube, I want it to come out of my phone. So now that you've set that up, you can see right here that the app for YouTube will come out of the audio device. So that means if I was to head over again into my Samsung Music and I go over into that song that we just got done listening to, if I was to turn this one up a little bit, you can hear it's coming from this speaker right there. So now that this one's coming from the speaker, which what I will do is turn this thing down just a little bit, now I'm going to head over into YouTube because this was the application we chose to come out of the phone. So let's say that we are heading over into Jimmy's promo and let's go to the very last video that was played. Now the great thing about it is that music that we we're listening to from before is actually still up on this Bluetooth speaker and right over here when you hit on your volume control, this is where you can see these separate. So here's my media of the LifeProof Bluetooth speaker. And then here is the the very bottom of media from coming from the phone. So if I was to bring this up to the speaker, you can see that it's still coming from the phone speaker. When I pause that, this right here is actually still playing the sound. And hopefully that kind of came out good afterwards. I brought basically both my phone and the speaker up to my Blue Yeti mic. So you can see there that this is a huge deal. Separate app sound is one of my favorite features on the Samsung Galaxy devices. It just makes sense. You know what? If you're connected to your car, if you're at work listening to music and you just want to look at Snapchat or Facebook or YouTube really fast at a fast video, but it overtakes the whole sound system, this is a great, fantastic way of making sure that does not happen. Now, feature number four is probably one of those that is hopefully going to be learned and brand new in this video. Now, again, if the separate app sound is one of those that was brand new, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up and also write a comment of which one of these so far was brand new to you or at least a refresher and you definitely appreciated it. Now we're going to head over into your settings or the security settings of your phone. Head over to the very top, hit on your settings icon. Then you're going to go to your lock screen and security. And underneath lock screen and security, there's a thing that is called smart lock. Now, now with smart lock, this is a way that when you are connected to something or you connect your phone to a location, it's able to stay unlocked. So as of right now, I would have to use my iris or my facial recognition, also my fingerprint just to get into my phone. But if you add in a trusted place, let's say maybe your house, you are able to connect this with the location of your house or maybe your work. 
I would probably highly suggest just turning this one on for your house. So if you don't care of anybody who is at your house gets into your phone, it should be somebody you already trust, then you're good to go. Then this one right here is the trusted devices. That means you can add a device that if you are connected to it through Bluetooth, that means you are around your phone, making sure that you should still be trusting your phone to be unlocked. So from what you've always seen from before, I've always had to unlock my phone. We're gonna go to add trusted device. You can connect this thing to your watch if you want to. Um, right now, what I will do is I'll connect it with my LifeProof AQ9, and then I'm gonna hit on add. Now later on, all I have to do is just basically turn this thing off. So now, because I am connected with my LifeProof AQ9 via Bluetooth, if I was to hit on my power button, because I am connected with this speaker via Bluetooth, when I hit on the power button one more time, if I was to swipe on the screen, Screen, it's going to automatically unlock my phone and it's because it is used as a trusted device. Now, if I was not connected with this Bluetooth speaker over here, let's just say that I just turn off the Bluetooth just to make this for a quick demo. What's going to happen is now if I was to try to get over into my phone, um, I'm going to have to put in my password, use my biometrics, use the pin, whatever it is. So that is one of the nice things about the trusted devices. So again, we're going to move right back over to those settings. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to lock screen and security. We're going to click on smart lock. And inside of here, the other options you do have is the on-body detection. This just means that it's able to keep your phone unlocked when it is on you. You also have a voice match. But honestly, the top two I would probably use is your trusted device because that means you're within, obviously, 30 feet of your phone. So you should be able to be in control of that device and you can do the trusted places. But I do want to let you know, please don't forget that you are connected via this way because I was actually out in the field and I saw and helped a customer where they were actually having their watch, their smartwatch, connected as a trusted device. They said that they went through the phone, they turned on all the different security settings, they even restarted the phone, they tried to do anything and everything they could, but every single time, their phone would just unlock automatically. I went to this setting here and it was because they had a trusted device. All you have to do is just remove that trusted device and then now your phone is still going to be locked up the way that you had this thing set up. So this is just going to definitely help if you're sitting at home and you don't care if any of your family members go on top of it. Maybe you don't want to keep doing this when you are at home, putting your finger on a fingerprint reader, using an iris, using facial recognition, using your password or pin. It's just a nice, easy, fantastic way of getting in your phone when you're at a safe, trusted location. So again, I hope that this was maybe one of those that was brand new for you. If this is that brand new thing that you've learned, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. And again, right down below, the adding of a trusted device is the thing that you've learned in this video. But if you guys liked everything about this video, appreciate it. Make sure you give this thing again a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed because you'll definitely see a lot of videos similar to this on the channel of Jimmy's Promo. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. You can also hit on subscribe right over here. You can hit subscribe right below the video. Outside of that, I will see you guys later.